Today I wanted to talk about using a shot list to stay more focused and organized on your next shoot. And stick around until the end of the video because I've created a free shot list template that I'm gonna share with you guys. And that's coming up right now. Hey guys, Ryan Camp with the Piedmont Motion Picture Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. First off, I just wanted to really apologize for this week's video being late. I'm really trying to get more consistent with my uploads. This is one of the reasons the video is late this week because we got a new puppy named Baby. Meet Baby, this is our three month old golden doodle. If you've ever had a new puppy, you know that it takes a lot of work to um, get them settled in and not peeing and pooping everywhere, but we're making some progress and hopefully after these first few weeks, She'll settle in and be a part of the family and won't be so much work anymore, but right now she is a handful. Apart from the new puppy, I've been working on an in-depth tutorial for the Smooth Mobile uh, mobile phone stabilizer, so be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be a really long video and it's really detailed, so it's been eating up a lot of my time, and hopefully that'll be done in the next week or so. My ultimate goal, of course, is to make YouTube videos for you guys full time and and make films and teach you guys about everything that I'm learning. If you guys wanna help support this channel and help support me into realizing that goal and being able to produce more consistent content, please head over to our Patreon page. We're gonna be offering a ton of cool rewards and some exclusive filmmaker resources just like the shot list that I'm gonna share with you guys today. I plan on producing a whole bunch of stuff like that that's gonna be exclusive to our patrons. For $1 a month, you become a patron and get access to the community there, exclusive posts, and last but not least, early access to our films and the behind the scenes footage that goes along with them. Which brings us to why we're here. We're talking about using a shot list for your next project. I think shot lists are an invaluable tool when you're creating a new project, whether it's a film project or just doing a video like this, make bullet points of the things you wanna talk about and it makes the flow so much easier. Like I didn't make one for today and I'm having a really hard time remembering what I wanna talk about. There are tons of different ways to create a shot list. I used to do a, just a bullet list of everything that I was gonna be doing that day. It wasn't until we started our new project, Fever Dream, which if you haven't heard is my next short film, psychological horror film. I never wrote a script or a screenplay for this short film. There's really not that much dialogue. And scripts and screenplays are great, don't get me wrong, but I like having as much information as possible about every aspect of the shot that I can. And I found that writing out a bullet list, it got a little bit messy. So I made a table inside of pages, and I'm gonna share that with you guys at the end of the video. So let's head over to the computer and take a look at the shot list that I made for this next project, and I'll walk you guys through it and show you the best way to create and fill this thing out. Okay guys, so after you download my free shot list templates, uh, you pull them up. This is basically similar to what you're gonna be seeing except for I have my um, image for Fever Dream down here. At the top, you'll see the title shot list for Fever Dream, um, copyright information. Here you can write your name written by and probably the date, I'll add the date in there. Uh, and I added this here, you know, if you're showing your project to someone who has no idea what the project is about and you kind of want to give them a little taste of, you know, the scope, the vision, uh, the mood, you could put an image here. And this is all part of a pitch book that I'm putting together for Fever Dream. I have, um, you know, the storyboards and all that stuff in there. And we'll cover a pitch book in another video. You have the draft number. This is the second time that I've edited this. You have shot number, uh, location, shot type, camera angle, camera movement, audio notes, dialogue, and scene descriptions. And those are the columns there at the top. Shot number is pretty self-explanatory. This is the number of shots. Every time you move your camera, uh, that's gonna be a new shot. You're gonna wanna write the number down to keep up with it. And you can use that when you're slating uh, while you're filming to help keep up with everything in a nice, cohesive manner. Over here in pages, this is where you add uh, the rows and columns. You can see this is a pretty lengthy uh, document. I've got 62 shots here. It's a lot more than you think once you start uh, writing this stuff down, how many different uh, shots and takes you're gonna have. Okay, and then we got you know shot number, and then we got location. Here it says uh, exterior, EXT, that's what that stands for. Uh, interior would be INT, of course. That's uh, script lingo. Uh, this is my backyard. I'm going to be filming in my backyard, so I have that written down here so I don't forget. Um, 
shot type. Uh, this is where you would put like wide, medium, close. Um, pretty self-explanatory. For camera angle here, I'll usually put like eye level, uh, low near the ground, or if you're gonna be looking down on your subject, or if it's like an over the shoulder shot, you can write stuff like that here. Camera movement, you know, you could put uh, panning, tilting. Um, is the camera operator gonna be spinning in place? Is he gonna be using a um, stabilizer? Uh, audio notes, this is a new one I added. I have not filled this out yet for this project. But here you could put down um, various sound effects like uh, footsteps, um, a wind blowing through the trees, birds calling, that sort of thing. Uh, usually stuff that you know is not going to be uh, captured in camera, maybe some, some ideas you have you don't want to forget, or just to set the tone when you're filming, you know, you know in this scene I'm going to have some wind blowing, so you wouldn't want to forget that. Uh, dialogue, um, you wouldn't have to fill out every bit of dialogue here, you know, you could use your script uh, for that kind of stuff if you wrote a script to go along with the shot list. But here you could even write down, you know, just yes. Is there gonna be dialogue in this scene? So you don't forget that there's gonna be dialogue there. Uh, yes or no. Or you could write out every bit of dialogue in this box if you like. Scene description, this is where I get as detailed as possible about what's gonna be happening in the scene. This is how I write a shot list for my projects. I think they're an invaluable tool. They save you a lot of time. Uh, um, I guarantee if you sit down and take the time to write out a shot list, do storyboards, write a script, you're going, to get to, you're going to get to the set, you're going to be a lot more confident, and you're going to be a lot less stressed out, knowing exactly what needs to be done, and you've already gone, on it, gone over it in your head, and you have everything laid out like this. It's really going to help you, help you out on the day of the shoot. I hope you guys will go check out the Patreon page and download these free templates, and remember we're going to have a lot more stuff like this coming to our patrons, but this one is available to everyone for free. And while you're there, please take a minute to vote in the poll that I posted about what you would like to see more of on the channel. That would be very beneficial to me and I'll let you uh, guys help shape uh, the future content that we've got coming up. Question of the day, do you prefer shot lists, scripts, or both? Let me know in the comments and let me know why you prefer one or the other. Okay guys, I hope this video has been very helpful to you. Uh, please give this video a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our digital store for awesome filmmaking resources. Head over to our Patreon page and download this shot list template pack for free. It's available to everyone. You do not have to be a patron to get it. And that does it for today, guys. Please look me up on Twitter and Instagram at Piedmont Motion. I am Ryan Camp, and I will see you guys on the next Piedmont Motion Picture Show.